Hi, I'm Agent Lee, and today I'll show you how to set up a Google Nest Smart Thermostat. Here's what you'll need. The Google Nest Smart Thermostat and all the included accessories, a small Phillips or flathead screwdriver, your network login info. If you already have a Google Home account, you'll need your login info for that as well. And a smart device, like a tablet or phone. It's not required, but if you have a multimeter, they're really helpful. You'll be dealing with electrical current, so you'll need some way to ensure the power has been properly disconnected. A multimeter is a great way to do that. Also, before we get started, pause the video and take a few minutes to make sure your HVAC system is compatible with your Nest thermostat. You can easily do this on the Nest website. There's a link in the notes below. If at any point you're not comfortable proceeding, stop right away and call an electrician. It's always better to get help than to risk a shock or shorting out your wiring. And in some areas, Geek Squad can come to your house and install your thermostat for you. Check out the link below to see if we offer thermostat installation services in your area. All right, here we go. I'll be using a Google Pixel to install the thermostat. The steps might be a little different depending on your device. First, locate your existing thermostat. Launch the Google Home app and sign in with your existing Google account. If you don't have one, you will need to create one to use your Nest thermostat. Choose the location for this device or add a location if yours isn't listed. Now the app will scan for the thermostat. At this point, it isn't hooked up yet, so just wait until the scan is done and don't be alarmed when it doesn't find anything. Then tap thermostat and Nest thermostat. A QR code scanner will pop up. Scan the QR code on the thermostat. Mine is right here on the back. When it's identified, tap continue. You'll see some terms and conditions pop up. Check them out, and if you agree, select I agree, and tap next on both the walkthrough and tool screens. Confirm that your heating and cooling equipment is currently working. Tap next to continue. Now it's time to find the circuit breaker for your thermostat and turn it off. Hopefully, your breaker board is labeled well so it's easy to find. After the circuit breaker is off, head back to the thermostat and tap next. At this point, you'll remove the faceplate to expose the wires. Be very careful not to touch any of the wires. You'll want to double check that the thermostat is off by testing it with a multimeter. Place one probe on the R wire, which for me is red, and put the other probe on the C wire. In this case, my C wire is blue. It should read zero volts AC or VAC. If it reads between 23 to 28 VAC, the thermostat is still getting power, which means you didn't turn off the right breaker. Make sure you do turn off the right breaker before you proceed any further. Now the setup guide will prompt you to verify the existing thermostat is not installed on an electrical box, like the kind you see behind a standard household outlet or light fixture. This is fairly uncommon, but it's a good idea to check. Standard thermostats, along with the Google Nest thermostat, run on low voltage power and therefore don't typically require the use of an electrical box. If one is present, it might mean that your thermostat is using more power. So if you see one, don't go any further. In select markets, Geek Squad can help. Again, you can set up an appointment using the link below. Otherwise, connect with a licensed electrician to help you determine whether or not it's safe to proceed. If you didn't find an electrical box, we can move on to the next step. Either take a picture or write down the existing wiring so you know how to connect your new Nest thermostat. I have a yellow wire going to terminal Y, green to G, blue to C, white to W, and red to R. Use the app to verify that the existing wiring is not high voltage. They usually wouldn't be, but again, it's always a good idea to double check. If a wire is high voltage, call a licensed electrician to give you a hand. If you're safe to proceed, remove any jumper wires present and tap next. Now select whether the current thermostat has two sets of labels for each input. Check each existing wire at the current thermostat and tap next. Label the wires following the app's labels
and tap Next. Now it's time to disconnect the old thermostat, making sure the wires don't fall into the hole in the wall, and tap Next. Select whether a trim kit will be used or not. I won't be using one for my installation. Now pull the wires through the base plate and tap Next. Secure the base plate with the provided screws and tap Next. Now take note of the directions the next screen gives you before tapping Next. Connect the wires following the labels you already put on and tap Next. The app will prompt you to remove the battery tab. Once that's done, tap Next. Attach the thermostat to the base, like this, and tap Next. Now turn the power on at the breaker, return to the thermostat, and tap Next. Your Nest thermostat is almost ready. Now it's time to connect the app and the thermostat. Remember that scan we ran before when it didn't find anything? Well, now the thermostat is connected, so it should this time. Here we go. Let's run it again. And voila. Now the app will walk you through a number of setup options, starting with the language. Then tap Next. Tap Start Test to test the wiring. Select the type of fuel that's used for heating your home and tap Next. Select the type of heat and tap Next. Now select whether to start in heating or cooling mode. Make your selection and tap Next. Now tap Next to connect the thermostat to Wi-Fi and set up temperatures. Select your wireless network and tap Next. Enter your password and tap Next. The Nest thermostat will now connect to your Wi-Fi and check for any updates. If there are any, make sure you take time to install them before proceeding. Now verify the address where your thermostat is installed. This is important because you'll get detailed reporting based on your area along with the local temperature. Then select which room the thermostat is in and tap Next. This is important because you can install more than one in the same house. Now it's time to set up some scheduled adjustments. For example, if you like it colder when you sleep and warmer when you wake, or if you're out of the house during certain days and times, you can schedule those to save on costs. To get started, tap Get Started. Tap Next. Now tap each item in the list to set the temperatures you'd like to use. And then tap Next. For example, if I'm gone every Tuesday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m., I can enter that here. That way, during that time, my HVAC won't work as hard or at all, ultimately saving me money. Hit Next again to set up your recurring schedule. And then tap Next. To set up a home and away routine, tap Setup. Home and away routines start when the first person comes home and when everyone is away. And they're not limited to just the thermostat. They can incorporate your other smart tech as well. We have another tech tips video on setting up a Google Home routine. If you're interested, there's a link in the notes below. All right, tap next to set up presence sensing. The Google Nest thermostat has a motion sensor built in, so it can tell when someone is home and adjust when there's not. Read through the terms, and if you agree, select Agree to enable this feature. Now verify the address where presence sensing will be used, and tap Next. 
The thermostat also uses this information to watch your local weather and, depending on your preferences, can automatically make adjustments. To verify your location, tap Confirm, and then Done. Now tap Next to set up HVAC monitoring. This is the detailed reporting that I mentioned earlier. You'll see how your energy use and savings compare to others in your geographical region. If you'd like a monthly report from Nest, select Sign Up. In the next few screens, the app will show you how to get the most out of your Nest thermostat. Take a few minutes and walk through the options, getting a better understanding for each. When you're done, tap Done. Now verify that both the heating and cooling are working by switching to each mode and waiting for your HVAC system to react. If everything is working well, congratulations! You just installed a Google Nest Smart Thermostat and are set up for a more convenient and cost-effective way to control the temperature in your home. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.